Hi, my name is Jim Pate. I am a physiologist at the Molly Bud Health Group. My specialty is in exercise testing, and today I'm here to talk to you about VO2 max testing, uh, more specifically just about VO2 max itself. Uh, what we really mean when we say VO2 max is a person's maximum ability to use oxygen during exercise. Uh, this also tells us about a person's fitness levels, and we can also use this to help give them guidelines uh, regarding exercises, both safe but also effective um, to them. The kind of people who come for VO2 max testing uh, really varies a lot. We have people who are really more interested in kind of just measuring their fitness, while in other cases we have people who are coming to see us for testing uh, because they're trying to assess their heart-lung function and make sure that that's all um, working normally. A lot of patients uh, are referred for VO2 max not because um, they can't exercise, but rather because they're trying to find out how they can exercise in order to benefit their health. So a VO2 max test helps give them some real objective data and some numbers to go along with um, their current levels of fitness and then we can compare them to where we think they should be based on their age and their size. And this helps us in order to make sure that, you know, we have people exercising both effectively and um, uh, appropriately to their, to their current level of fitness. And this could be someone who's maybe an athlete who has had an injury or something of that nature, or someone who's, you know, just trying to get back to normal level of fitness following uh, a major illness or an operation or something of that nature. In order to measure someone's VO2 max, we need to get that person to exercise with increasing intensity while we connect them up to some monitoring equipment. The test probably lasts only about 15 minutes from start to finish. First you do a little bit of rest, then you warm up a little bit, and then we get you to exercise with increasing intensity until you can't really work any harder anymore. Um, when you reach that point, the test is basically over, and we usually get you to do a little bit of cool down recovery exercise, and after a few minutes, most people have caught their breath and are feeling back to them old selves. Uh, and uh, then it just takes a little bit of time for us to go through the uh, test data and we can give people uh, the measurements of their fitness as well as information about how uh, they can exercise uh, more safely and effectively. After you've done your VO2 max tests, you'll get some feedback uh, in the form of a report but also, it's a good idea to try and think about when you might do it again. Uh, one of the most powerful ways of using the information that we get from a VO2 max test allows us to track people's fitness over time. So usually about once every year is a good idea to try and make sure that, you know, you're at least maintaining uh, the level of fitness that you should be um, for an average healthy person of your age. VO2 max testing at Marleybone Health Group starts at ages 14 and up. Uh, there is no upper age limit, but obviously physical capability of exercise is a consideration that needs to be made. Typically, we can use an exercise bike or gentle walking on a treadmill uh, or even uh, stepping up and down on a step of a fixed height uh, we can use to help people exercise in a way that's meaningful so we can gather the information that we want to from our exercise test and then compare it to the values that we would like to or use the information uh, to help people, uh, give people better information about the way that they can exercise safely. 